up in arms over coyotes. The city of Wheaton deciding whether to take them out or leave them alone. There have been coyote attacks on pets along the western suburbs, causing concern among residents. WGN's Julie Unruh in Wheaton, live with more on tonight's meeting. Hi, Julie. Hi to you, Micah. The initial concern, of course, was pets, but others are concerned about children. They're also concerned about the elderly in these neighborhoods. Let's talk about the city council meeting tonight. Here behind me, the meeting's long gone. It's been over for some time now, but roughly 100 people showed up. That's about four times the amount that showed up just last week. And last week, the mayor tells me that they voted on it, took a consensus, rather. The vote was six to one, and that was whether they should inquire about trapping and killing these coyotes that have been so problematic. Some of them even say they're killers. Every single day, there's a coyote in my yard. And every day, Ronnie Osco escorts her 11-year-old Sharpay outside for fear that coyotes like these will attack her dog. Layton is blind, so every day she steps outside armed with a biodegradable BB gun. You just go. A dandelion spear and pepper spray. They call me Ronnie and Clyde. Ronnie has seen as many as six coyotes in her backyard in one day. And several weeks ago, just a few miles away, Buddy Graff, a West Highland Terrier, never made it back inside his own home alive. Yep, more coyotes. Tonight, the emotionally charged issue goes before the Wheaton City Council to kill or not to kill the coyotes. Will their skin be ripped off of them and then they, the skin sold for coats? What will happen to the animals afterwards? But now we're having to alter the way we live and the way we use our property and the way my children play. One coyote expert and trapper says the problem is overpopulation. He caught this coyote just yesterday in a neighboring suburb. It has stage three mange, lost half of its fur, and has open sores all over its body. This animal was sick and it was, would not leave the area. It had killed a cat and um, had chased a couple of dogs and wouldn't leave the area. So we did trap the animal and caught it and euthanized it. While animal activists want Wheaton to consider the rights of the coyote, Rob Erickson says the coyotes he's hunting for in other municipalities are not living a quality life. And once they've threatened a home or community once, they will come back for more. The thing that, that bothers me the most is the people that don't understand it or don't get to see this on a daily basis like I do, they just don't understand how cruel and inhumane Mother Nature can be. Now, the mayor tells me a decision about what to do regarding these problematic coyotes is still probably another week, maybe even two weeks away. Now, the city's next move right now is to interview trappers. They want to talk things like cost and certainly process. All of that's going to happen in the very near future so that the board can then make an educated vote on what to do next. We're live in Wheaton. Julie Unruh, WGN News.